Hello and thank you for joining me today on The Political Conversationalist. My name is Ben Phipps and we're continuing our, uh, coming to a close rather, on our series of political people. And today we're talking about Hillary Clinton. We talked last week about her husband. So Hillary Clinton was born in Chicago in 1947. And she was active in politics very young. But what I find interesting about this is that she was actually normally campaigning for the Republican Party. She was active in politics throughout her education and honed to her uh, college career at Wellesley College. And she also ran in the student government there and was very successful in that. Now, the story goes, and I'm not sure because I didn't find it anywhere independently verified, but that she actually heard one of the speeches of Martin Luther King Jr. and decided to uh, become a Democrat and follow more Democratic policies. So that's an interesting side note there. She graduated Wellesley in 1969 and went to Yale Law School. And uh, not only did she do very well there, but she met Bill Clinton there as well. She graduated in 1973, uh, worked on the campaign of the presidential nominee from the Democratic Party in 1972, whose name was George McGovern. I'm trying to find a picture of him. I had never heard that name before. Uh, she was a member, being a, a lawyer, she was a member of the presidential uh, impeachment inquiry squad of people who were trying to see if Nixon was worthy of impeachment or not. Uh, she also uh, went with Bill to teach at the University of Arkansas Law School at Fayetteville. And uh, she married him in 1975, finally. They had their daughter Chelsea in 1980. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, she helped Jimmy Carter successfully campaign in 1976. And fun fact about me, that's the only president I'm related to through third and sixth and eighth, eighth cousins. Anyway, she stayed active throughout Bill's 16 years as governor of Arkansas and uh, actually ran for Senate herself in New York in 1989 after Bill had left office. And she became the first uh, former first lady to hold a political elected office. She became the Secretary of State in 2009 when Barack Obama was president, and she stepped down in 2013. She lost a presidential bid in 2016 to Republican nominee, who is now our president, Donald Trump. But the race was extremely close, and she actually won the popular vote. Now, I personally don't like Hillary Clinton. There's numerous reasons to me, and there are numerous things she's done that seem underhanded or shady, she makes a whole lot of money, and it's not very clear where all that money comes from or where it goes to. But one thing we do know about Hillary Clinton is this. She's proven to an entire generation, or rather all generations, to come that a woman can successfully run for president and that a, uh, the glass ceiling is all but destroyed. And uh, I remember talking about, to multiple people during the 2016 election cycle, it, nobody was not voting for Hillary Clinton that I talked to because she was a woman. Uh, I believe had she been, had some other controversies removed, maybe the Benghazi affair, some of those bigger controversies like the uh, deleting all those emails, reportedly smashing smartphones with hammers, had she had less controversies surrounding her, and maybe even America just didn't want another Clinton at the helm, she probably would have won, and she came very close to it. So I think that even though she may be not a very good person and her actual political impact will be pretty small, that she proved to an entire, not an entire generation, but to all future generations rather, that women are capable of uh, being Secretary of State, that women are capable of running for president, and that women are very soon, if not in 2016, very soon going to be the president. So I appreciate your watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can like and subscribe. And you can always follow the link to my Facebook page if you have a question or comment, and you can email me through there. Thanks for watching.